Hi, Linda Goodall here. We're getting ready to sew and we need thread in our machine. So I'm going to show you how to thread the needle. Now, one thing we need to do first is to make sure that our presser foot is up so that the tension discs are open and we need to make sure that our needle is in the full up position. So if your needle is somewhere in between, just touch the needle position button to make sure it's full up and we're ready to put the thread on the machine. So if you learn to sew on an older machine, the spool pin may have been vertical. This is the auxiliary spool pin that's sitting on the bobbin winder. And what happens when the spool goes on there is that when we pull the thread or the machine pulls the thread, you can see how the spool is spinning. And that adds a little extra tension to the thread. Most modern machines these days hold the spool horizontally and it just comes off the end. So there's no need to spin the spool. So on this machine, it wants the thread to come off the back of the spool. So we're just going to lift the spool pin, slide it on, see if I can do it from this angle. Put on the spool cap, make sure it's the right size for your spool. And now we're ready to start threading the machine. So once again, the manual recommends that you have the machine turned off so that you don't accidentally sew yourself, but I don't usually do that. And if you look at the top of the machine, you'll see that there are guides to show you how to thread. So it's going to go through number one here, this first thread guide. Then it's going to go around this, which is number two. Then it's going to drop down, come back up, and drop back down again. And we'll get to that in a minute. So let's start with the top. You're going to need to hold the thread between both hands, and it's just going to kind of pop under there. And it goes around the back of number two, and then we're going to start going down the front. So you'll continue going down to where it says number three, come back up where it says number four, make sure you get it through the take up lever and then back down and now we're ready to thread the needle area. So there's one more thread guide and it's on the needle bar and it's this little hook like thing there. You're going to take the thread around that then you're going to bring it up through this little slot here, put it through here, take it up to the thread cutter and just cut off the excess and it'll just kind of hang out there like that. So the next step, the manual recommends that you lower the presser foot. You're going to slowly press down on the needle threader button until the threader thing is through the needle. Then you're going to slowly raise it up and there'll be a loop back there that you can just pull out. And that's how easy it is to thread the, the needle. Now you don't want to just pop it down there and then just let it go. It might not stick in there. The manual does say to let it go, take it down slowly, bring it back up slowly. Now sometimes the needle threader will not work and that would be like the twin needle, the wing needle, and possibly the even feed foot. So if you have any of those things, you'll probably have to thread it the old-fashioned way just by poking it through the needle. And that's how you do it. 